Good morning, folks. Two days ago, the news title read Earthquake Watch. Yesterday's title read Earthquake Warning. And today, we'll report that earthquake. But we're going to begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, finding no solar flares, no CMEs, no major pops or surges, just the thin, dark plasma filaments. And they've all remained stable thus far, but we'll eye them closely this week as Mercury is swinging in to conjoin the Sun. Moving fast against the background stars, and this inferior conjunction has produced ejecta four times in a row. Moving on to solar wind, where telemetry was falling back into normal range, when one more elevated speed wave swept past Earth yesterday. The disaster prediction app sent out the geomagnetic storm warning nearly 90 minutes before the official chart updated with the red line. It was minor only. Well, folks, even though we were in between coronal holes, you know the earthquake watch was high because we had a CME ready to couple with Earth and the planets were aligning. Here's the video we posted yesterday afternoon. Good day, observers. Holiday celebrations in southern Chile were shook this morning by a magnitude 7.6 earthquake and brief fears of a tsunami. In addition to concern for the locals, the question at hand for the observers is whether the model forecasts this event based on the pre-seismic signals we've been using. To quickly get caught up, you can learn a lot at QuakeWatch.net, including reading an explanatory paper and keeping up with official results of the model forecast. Let's dive right into this one. Folks, a blunt echo struck this morning at a time when South America was the furthest thing from our minds. They were not on alert in any way. They had a few OLR signals, but that was it, and not nearly enough for an alert. But this deep rumble suggested a new analysis was warranted. It was only a four-pointer, so the alert zone was confined to the immediate region and just to the south. It should now be well known to observers, and if not, Hook Echo can remind you, there is a distinctive southward shift in energy from blot echoes, especially in South America. Now, right after posting that, our family went out for food this holiday morning, and while we were out, a larger magnitude 5.4 earthquake took place nearby. Again, very deep, a blot echo. Observers, you know what happens next. First, the alert, if not already red, would intensify to red if not going to a full alert star. And the alert zone would also extend down further, spreading out, basically intensifying in every way with the larger blot echo occurring. And indeed, just 20 minutes later, even before the 5.4 was reported online, the larger magnitude 7.6 struck the region. So while our automated program forecasting is still being built, you have been given some of these basic rules about blot echoes so that you can determine what is supposed to happen to these alerts during the times of day we're not around. But as you might imagine, I do have a bit of insight into the inner workings of the program built to copy our forecasting model. And immediately upon the occurrence of the magnitude 5.4, the alert zone up in California would have disappeared, and the one in South America would have extended down through southern Chile. Now, while the epicenter was just south of the previous red line, the shaking and official affected region did include the southern tip of the red line, so it would have counted as a hit for the model no matter how you look at it. However, this is why you've been given those rules for when we're not there, and had the automated program being built by 9 Risi been finished and in play, the entire Chilean coast would have taken the alert. Until then, folks, this is why you have that information about blood echoes, especially the southward shifts. You'll remember that the New Zealand quake back on November 13th followed that same pattern as well on the other side of the Pacific. Of course, the current alert maps are part of the disaster prediction app, and when the automated forecasting program is complete, it will appear there as well. For the time being, keep using the maps posted and the real-time data to anticipate the movement of those alerts for the majority of the day when I'm not stuck with my eyes on the earthquake feeds. This was a beautiful blot echo preceded quake, and whether I was sitting at my computer or at a table eating pancakes with Kat and Kira across town, observers know exactly what those blot echoes mean. Eyes open, no fear. Just imagine driving on that highway while the event took place. Scary stuff. Hopefully that's got all the pressure out of that region and they'll be done shaking. 
Another part of the world wanting a return to normal is the Philippines. This footage from Noc Ten, locally known as Nina, as it lashed the island nation bringing heavy rains and fast winds. Cleanup and counting the damage is in its infancy as the storm still sits on shore for the moment. Let's peek in on this major winter event in the United States. The Earth Spot drove tornado warnings in the central states like Oklahoma yesterday, but that was on the eastern convergence. On the west side, the cold air sucks in from the north, and we're looking at the snowfall accumulation expected over the coming few days. It's blizzard time. Europe will watch the strong storm we've been reporting take on Scandinavia soon there, while the next one enjoys the Icelandic views in no hurry to jump over to the UK. Folks, the Disaster Prediction app is out on both Apple and Android. It's linked below here, and you're going to find a tutorial video for using the app and some of the features it contains. Our second book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, is available in big box stores and in the list of links. And lastly, folks, the next presentation of pre-seismic signal detection from the mantle to our star happens at Observing the Frontier 2017 coming to Albuquerque in April. The official observer's gathering is only about 100 days away, and it's always a blast. Also, be sure to check out the resources if you are new here. QuakeWatch.net has the earthquake information that most newcomers are coming here to find. Don't miss it. We've got pressure and radar forecasts, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.